After the top eight of Pro Tour Philadelphia, it was clear there were still some cards that were just too powerful for the format that Wizards wanted to cultivate. So a ban of restricted update followed later that same month in September of 2011. Blazing Shoal, Cloud Post, Green Sun Zenith, Ponder, Preordain, and Rite of Flame were all now banned. There was also a new set on the horizon as Innistrad was released on September 30th, 2011. This set was the first of three sets in the Innistrad block, a gothic horror setting that gave us popular staples such as Snapcaster Mage, Liliana the Veil, Pass in Flames, Stony Silence, and Delver Secrets. It was also the first set to introduce double-faced cards into Magic the Gathering. In this series, both Seifert, a proud filthy casual, and myself, MTG Metalhead, a tournament grinder, will be diving into the tomes of Magic's competitive history, exploring the evolution of one of its most popular formats. Each episode, we will delve deeper into the format as new sets and archetypes shake up the meta. Welcome to the History of Modern. Armed with a new set and an updated ban list, this stage was set for a huge meta shakeup for Pro Tour San Francisco, which took place November 17th through 19th in 2011. It was a team constructed format with Modern being only one of three formats played, alongside Draft and Standard. So in the first of two episodes, today we will be showcasing two of the most popular and successful Modern decks from this event. I will be piloting Gifts Control, while Cifra will be piloting Maliripod. Are just doing a quick deck overview here for Gifts Control. Uh, this is a combo shell that relies on Gifts Ungiven, uh, a really great magic card that allows you to tutor for up to four cards. Your opponent selects two of them to put your hand and the other two to the graveyard. Uh, there is a trick where you can search for just two if you want to, to put them directly into the graveyard, though in this particular strategy that's not usually what we're going to be doing, as this is a value engine for this deck. The main point is to be able to get cards like Punishing Fire, as well as Grove of the Burn Bulls, which combo together to allow us to keep buying back the Punishing Fire, and in order to keep buying this back, you have Life from the Loam, which is an engine which allows you to keep buying these lands back so that no matter what your opponent gives you, it's not a good choice, and to round out the pile, you want a Raven's Crime. Uh, with all four of these, your opponent really doesn't have a good choice, and no matter what they give you, you're going to be able to keep buying back these cards and enacting your strategy which the whole purpose of this deck is to be able to attrition your opponent out by Ravens Criming their hand away, Punishing Fire their creatures away, Grover the Burn Wells being able to buy back the Punishing Fire, and being able to use the Life from the Loan to buy back lands and be able to eat their hand away with Ravens Crime. Uh, you have a lot of great threats with Eternal Witness allowing you to buy back whatever pieces you may be missing, Kitchen Finks, Secure Tribe Elder, Snapcaster Mage, you also have Doom Blade for some great removal as well as Go for the Throat, two really great draw spells in Thirst for Knowledge, Liliana of the Veil, one of the best Planeswalkers ever printed, uh, great for attrition strategies. You also have All Suns Dawn, Consuming Vapors, Damnation, Duress, Inquisition of Kozilek, and of course Rude Awakening. Uh, this will allow you to be able to kind of win the game out of nowhere with a Rude Awakening, with All Suns Dawn being a very powerful draw spell, allowing you to recur a lot of things from your graveyard. You also have engineered explosives at top to be able to deal with some threats that you may not be able to deal with with some of your other removal. In the sideboard, we got Obstinate Bailoth, Termagoyfs, Seal of Primordiums, Ancient Grudge, Combusts, Extrapate, as well as three more Thoughtseize. So well-rounded to be able to fight against a lot of creature strategies, artifact strategies, or decks where you think you need stronger creatures. You have, of course, Termagoyf uh, against other hand control decks. You have Obstinate Bailoff, and of course, you got Extrapate against the graveyard strategies. We're going to do just a quick deck overview here for Maliripod, one of the first variations of this deck. It relies on a few different combos, so let me kind of take this piece by piece. Your first and main combo is going to be trying to assemble Viserysir and Kitchen Finks with Malira, or Viserysir with Murderous Redcap and Malira, which allows you to go infinite. You can sacrifice uh, using the Viserys Seer's ability, the Kitchen Finks or the Murderous Redcap, which normally would have persist, would revive themselves when they come back, they have a negative counter on them, but because of Malira, they do not actually get the negative counter, so you can infinitely sack them, getting their triggers infinitely, so gaining infinite life with Kitchen Finks or doing infinite damage with Murderous Redcap. 
uh, but you also have a lot of ways to dig for this combo with Court of Calling, as well as, of course, the namesake card, Birthing Pod, which allows you to go up the chain of creatures to tutor for any missing pieces you may have. Um, you have Great Removal and Archon of Justice, as well as Yose the Morning Star to be able to disrupt your opponent's game plan. Uh, but you also have another combo in the deck, um, which is you can go for getting a Protean Hulk in play, and if you ever do with a Viserysir, you can then sack the Protean Hulk to the Viserysir to go and tutor up Body Double, as well as any other one drop, doesn't really matter. The Body Double enters as a copy of Protean Hulk, you then sack the Body Double to Viserysir to go and tutor again, this time getting Revlark, and again doesn't matter what other creature, and then the Revlark you can then sack in order to be able to get back the Body Double and any other pieces in your graveyard, but you can keep doing this to be able to dig up your missing pieces like Kitchen Finks or Moliere or Murder's Red Cap if you're missing them. You also have some card advantage cards like Dark Confidant and Ranger of Eos to be able to dig up some of the other creatures. You also have Crystal Prime Mage, which is a versatile threat and removal spell all in one, being able to deal with pesky artifacts or enchantments that get in your way. Um, you also have, of course, Wall of Roots being able to do some mana acceleration as well. In the cyber, we have an Aether Swarm Cannonist, Fiend Hunter, Gadog Teague, Three Kataki War Wage, Obstinate Bayloth, Spellskite, Withered Wretch, Two Duress, a Memoricide, and Three Thoughtseize. All targeted different things. Gadog Teague is very good against fighting against Tron. Uh, Fiend Hunter is very good against other creature decks. Aether Swarm Cannon is very good against artifacts as well as Kataki War Wage. Obstinate Bayloth very good against other Thoughtseize decks. Spellskite against a lot of decks that have a lot of bot removal. Uh, Withered Wretch is very good at being able to deal with other graveyard strategies, and of course you have your hand control and duress and thoughtsies, as well as memoir side. Well, without further ado, my fellow planeswalkers, it's time to battle. I'm ready to battle though, are you? Yep. Alright, let's see who goes first here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll die, and you tell me evens or odds. Even Stevens. Even Stevens. Odd it is! Alright, I will go ahead and As well here. I only had a one lander, not really uh, where we want to be. That one, uh, that one will keep. Mm. Oh. That, uh, hmm. We'll see. Are you good? Yep. Alright, I'm going to start us off with a untapped blood crypt here, to life, and uh, I'm going to use it from black here to Inquisition of Kozalaki. That sad me quite a bit. I already know what it is. Yeah, I'm going to go for that confidant. Well, uh, this might be a quick game. You can put them all back there, yeah. Alright, I will uh, pass. Uh, I'll play it already got it going. Pass. Oh, uh, my Inquisition was just hanging out there. Sorry about that. I'm dead. Okay, draw. Uh, we're just gonna play a tap, watery grave, and uh, pass. Uh, in the turn. Sack this. How dare you. Do it out wall. What did that burning catacombs ever do to you, Seaver? It existed. That's fair. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That works out. Good God, let's try that. Just this. You know, the set wasn't that great, but I really love the artwork from the lands from that set. Infinity. Yes. Because that is a plant. In the secret layer artwork. And then we're gonna play a wall of roots. I would have never guessed. It is a wall of roots. Is it? Alright. One tap, hope keep draw. Well, we're gonna continue on with the uh, theme here. Uh, we're just gonna play a grave caverns and uh, pass it on over. Does that make me feel safe? 
Why this control deck doesn't play counter spells? You should feel safe. No, no, no. And it's red. <laughs> red is red birth. Red yeah, I don't kill. play counter spells. I just destroy the things you play. I don't like that. Um. Well. Gonna play Mr. Rainforest and uh, pass. That's well for me so far. I'm just gonna pass it on back. Yeah, the terror, I'm gonna pop mine. How dare you just over there fetching all the lands? Get me that better. To draw. <laughs> Alright, just look. Tap. Draw. What do we got? Okay. So, uh, Yes. Eh, well, there's no reason to do that right now. Hmm. I am in a pickle. Are you a pickle, Rick? Damn. I guess. Yeah. This is, uh... Sarah Seer. I don't like that, but sure. And, uh, that's it. I'm gonna have some effects in the turn here. I'm uh, gonna crack my fetch land. We're gonna get. No. Yes. No, stop. You fell to five. I'm gonna get this forest. I think you fell to fine. I'm gonna. Well, apparently I did. Now, um, <laughs> shuffle. Here. I don't know why I'm shuffling because I'm about to play cards. Can make me shuffle again? Gifts ungiven target you. Hey, it is not what I thought it was. Thank goodness. That's what we're going to do. Uh, life and loam and turn west to great room. Alright. Okay. On top, okay. I'm going to dredge life and loam. Like a year. Mm -hmm. 
this part of forest. Okay. I'm then going to tap this for colorless and cast a life in the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Twilight Mire and Misty Rainforest back into my hand because those are my only two targets. I'm going to play my land for turn. I'm going to use Blood Crypt with Craven's Cairn to make two black mana. I will then cast Raven's Crown from my graveyard by discarding a land card and retracing it, doing it again. Still have a black floating. Discard body top. Okay, then I'm using my last black mana to discard this and retrace it one final time. Okay. See me coming out of this. Yeah, we're just going to the next game. Yeah, it was going to be pretty hard for you uh, to get that one. So that's the uh, old Razzle Dazzle for the deck. That's what it does. You didn't get to see the Raven's Crime aspect when we did our test game. Yeah, folks, we like to do a test game right before just so neither one of us are just stumbling over these decks. Some of them are a little bit more straightforward than others, though. Good with mine. How you feeling about yours? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that might be too risky. I mean, it's not. It's not horrible. It's too risky. Yeah, I'm gonna have a long way too risky. Fair enough. So we'll see if that uh, bites me later. Okay, that's a lot better. Yep, I'm ready. Alright, I'm just gonna start with a stomping I, I down go tap. first. Oh, you're right. That is my bad. I'm cheating. I'm sorry. <laughs> Double guard tapped. Pass. Alright. Sorry, I, I was just so excited to show you my turn one play of tap lane. I just couldn't wait. going to put a negative counter on this. Mm -hmm. I have one green floating. I'm going to play Misty Rainforest and pop it. Oh, oh, green my turbo coin. Fire spell. Oh, punishing fire. Yeah, punishing fire. Go ahead and reveal my hand to you. And I will reveal my library to you. No.
I'm just gonna go to combat and attack with my glyph. I take. Mm. Well, let's see. Two power. Sack it mm -hmm. with Zebbar from the pot. Mm -hmm. I get a three to My growth grows. Second, and then just exile cord in your graveyard and I search your library in hand for the same cards. It's essentially a memory side. This. Mm -hmm. Without my life. I'm just gonna get a forest. Then I'm going to give Sang Gilly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for Radiant's Crime. Master Mage. And Encore. There we go. All sounds. I figured. 
kind of witness in all suns. Discard two unless I discard an artifact, which I do not have. So I discard land, land, and I will go to combat and attack with the Goyf. I will block. I'll pay two. Sack the kitchen sphinx. See, these games have not played out the way I thought they would have. Plus birds, play with. Does it reveal? Yeah, it does. Okay, so, where are you? Oh, where are you? I know you're in here. Okay, Assuming you're casting both. We'll cast those and the other part of Paradise. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uber mana! And then that's. All I can do. Okay, draw. Oh. Uh, guess I'll block with the birds of paradise and then sack it. That seems fair. So I can just scry one. Mm -hmm. So look at the top card. Yes, there is the top card. That can go straight to the bottom. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Ooh. I don't like the sounds of that. Ooh. I really don't like the sounds of that. 
So I guess it forces you to do something if you haven't. Bold claim to assume I have something. Get off Teague. I do have a response to that. Yep, okay. that's what I thought. <laughs> well, first things first, I'm gonna crack this. Yeah, that 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 fella is not very nice. All right, give it a swamp, and no need to shuffle yet because I'm just gonna give some given. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for damnation. Smother. Doomblade and go for throat go into your bridge right. Alright. Alright, the team now resolves. Alright. I'm going to pay two. And stack Ranger of Eos. Mm -hmm. Get a five drop. Oh no, I know it's about to happen. Well, Food. Lark. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. Yeah, you do know if the Snapcaster got revealed off of the first Which, which means you go back and get... Go for the kill Garrett. Stop the damnation. To do that, you'd pay. You'd have to pay. Two. Two. I can do it. I can't do everything, but I can do no, it. I don't think I sack Rob Lark yet. You don't. I think, that is, I, think I make you... I'm Are you just... sure, buddy? I mean, if you want to give me... No, a I'm just going to pass. You, you go ahead. Okay. Because unfortunately, I know you have to do blade or, or kill to get our team. I'm gonna try to uh, get on in with the boy. Uh, taking four. Okay. do I need to happen here? Um, I think you should sack your entire board of Viserys here and scry lands to the top and uh, then pass um, your turn. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure? I feel like that's, uh, that is the play, I think. 
I am going to cord for two. Uh, you can't, sir. Why? Yeah, I don't think. I sack your team. Just cry. I currently have no response. Okay. I'm going to get Malera. Yep. Does it put it on the field? It does. All right. Hmm. Going to sack Rubble Arc. I'm going to respond to the Rubble Arc trigger. I'll let you scrap first, go ahead and tell me what you're going to do with But with the rev light trigger and stack after as well. Wanna keep that on top? I guess actually no, I can't. Because... I oh, put yeah. you in a position it doesn't matter which one you kill. No, actually it, it does. I forgot I have that. It's not what I wanted to do, but it does work. I'm going to snap caster mage and already paid off for me. And I'm going to get back. Extra pay. I'm going to extra pay kitchen hands. I'm going to respawn. You can't. It's one second. Yeah, I concede. Do I concede? You still have multiple. Uh, because no. Because you now you can fail to wipe. That, you just stopped my entire win here. I don't think I can get past that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think that's it. Because even, even if I let it go, you get my kitchen sphinx. I can't do anything else that's of value that can stop you. You're just going to keep me at bay. Because you have a demnition in your hand. You blow up my field. I'm just, this game is done. Like, there's nothing else I can do at that point. I suppose it's probably true. So, I am just going to concede. Alright, let's play game three for fun, though. For funsies. I'm ready to start when you are. Unfortunately, I don't think my deck can beat that one. You can. Because I think you just have too many answers to what I'm doing. I mean, I have the one extra pay. That's really about it. Oh, no. It's not the extra pay. It's being able to just kill my things on the spot. The removal is what's stopping me. Uh, I have to take a minute. You just have a lot of removal. Well, um, you definitely have a chance here. I'm all getting down to five. Guess I'm keeping that one. Yes. Are we, uh, what are we doing here? You're on the play. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play Misty. Best.
Yes. What's that? Shuffle. Not that. We'll play a forest. Spell kite. That's that's a magic card. And I'm going to pass. Okay. Fear my one, two turmoil. It is a mighty turmoil. It is strong with the force. Get our teed. That is also a magic card. Yeah, pass. Well, this is a thing. I think I am. What an eternal witness. Targeting the Misty, that's fine. Uh, that's my turn. I uh, don't want to play a land? I... I thought I did... Oh, I didn't play a land. Oh! Yes, I will play a land. <laughs> Wanna attack me with Teague? No. I'm good. I see. Okay. Well. I would like to punishing fire your life total. Guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yeah, because I'll take I'll take two life either way. Would you like to take your two? Uh, or if I have, yeah, I'm just gonna take two. <laughs> I'm thinking to gain you life to produce red. Yep. We use that red to back. Yep. Yep. That is not a card. Play a Twilight Mire. We're gonna go to the old combats and uh, attack. Block with Eternal Witness. I will respond. I would like to punish and fire target Gattle Chief. Spells guy. So go to the graveyard because there's no instant control for the turn of life. You know, having this makes me really just think of Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers. Let my monsters grow. Exactly. I'll play Mr. Green Forest. Swing Wiz just might date the content, but did you watch the trailer for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th anniversary? Yep. Pretty sick. Is excited. I forbid it. Bad, deal with it. Yeah. 
Ranger of Eos. Yup. And I've been serious, serious in my hand. Uh -oh. Bird. He was a only bit patchy. Oh. Pass bird. Okay. Yeah, I know you play Snapcaster, you fuck. I also didn't have Snapcaster mana, but yes. I, I listen, I listen, I'm playing safe. You could pop a blue out of nowhere. Okay. Grow the burn willows. I don't trust anything. I would like to go to the combats. Mm hmm? Protect the wolf. I guess I'm taking three. Yes. I don't know what this bird is setting up. I clearly wanted another mana source. I hope it's pod so you can't play it because you're teeth. Protein Hulk. That is a magical. Damn. I'm gonna swing three. I mean, I'm gonna I'm take that three. And that's, uh. That's my turn? At the end of turn, I'm going to. attempt to cast. Oh, I don't have any I'm gonna, end of turn, let you gain life. Use a red and put punishing fire back in my hand. And end of turn, I guess. Attempt to punishing fire the cattle key. I will pay, you'll gain a life, and I'll put it back in my hand. Mm -hmm. Alright, not that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Well. Pass. The Sarah's here. Yep. Attack the protein. Anything else? I'm going to sack the kitchen space. Okay. So with its comeback trigger on the stack. Well, actually, yeah, that, that will actually be on stack first. Oh, man, you're making me do things. Black, black. Extra paint kitchen mix. I mean, you get them all. Okay. I trust you. Alright. So, well, I mean, I gotta reveal it anyway. Well, really? Where'd it go? Did you go to my graveyard? Where'd it go? What? Now I'm confused. Where'd it go? Is it still on my deck? Yes. There it goes. I think I only had two. Yes. Reveal your hand, sir.
You have three uncastable cards. <laughs> Your cat OT is locking you out. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I guess I'm just going what? to pass. Now you get to remove your scry. Or you get to resolve your scry. Remember the scry trigger was still in the stack. I, I, oh, I still get it? Yep. You top card. And put you on the bottom. Right. Pass turn. Okay, I'm okay, you're all. So, unfortunately... Yeah, if you got a snap caster, I just lose. I doubt. Because you can just do that again and get my other piece, and then it's just done. Again, you can win through combat damage. You don't just have to win through combo. I understand that, but... I, mean, I, think, I think that deck just has a lot of answers to this one. I will pass. I don't think there's a lot I can do. You can get rid of your tea. Unfortunately, that might be what I have to do. But I know you have a gift I'm giving in your hand. I know you do. You you can think that all you want. Let's see. I mean... Try to go for it again. Stack the teak. Yep. Right. calling for four. So I gotta think about this real quick. I think you just got me, but I'm just double checking. Okay, so... So to reveal to the audience also, I have a Punishing Fire you know about. I can go red into red red, and then I can buy it back twice. So or rather, both of them will hit Spell sky. But it will cost me one, and it's two mana to cast it the first time. And then it's two mana if I cast it again, and then two to buy back. So I can only cast it twice. So I can kill Spell Skite and nothing else. Because you can just redirect twice, and I can only cast it a total of twice, because I can go this, cast it once, buy it back, uh, and cast I'm, it again, buy it and back. And I'm getting Murder Cap. Yep, and Murder Cap will murder me. So that is game. Ugh. And concede. Well, actually, sh show, show the audience the card. Cap. And since we haven't got to demonstrate the combo in this, uh, just for demonstration's purposes, he can Essentially, use with Malaria, nothing gets negative counters. Viserys here gives me a sack outlet. Murderous Redcap has Persist. So when I sack it, it comes back, but it doesn't have the negative counter because of Malaria. So I can infinitely sack this and shoot him, machine gun him with a with it. Yes. He's machine gun Kelly. If for, if, for, if for insult to injury, I'm going to kill the Tomer Goyf too. That's just rude. What did that Goyf ever do it, to you? It hit me one too many times for my liking. <sighs> I guess. I'm going to instant speed cheat in this damnation. I don't think that's how that works. Mm. You sure? Yeah. Alright, I guess you got it. Okay. Alright, well, I guess final thoughts. Um. So this was the evolution of the metagame after the first big ban list uh, that kind of sniped some of the cards from the very first Pro Tour. And this was a kind of a weird tournament to showcase Modern because it was at Worlds where there was a team event. So essentially you had players on different formats. You had uh, some Draft, Standard, and Modern. And so it just made things a little bit weird with how it played out. But looking at the standings, we took some decks from the 4-2 the brackets, and originally I wanted to showcase uh, the original version of Ad Nauseam, but the problem was I don't think there's any real deck 
in the 4-2 bracket format that was really good against the Ad Nauseam deck. I felt like uh, at most we might be able to play the Malira Pod versus it, but then it's just two ships passing in the night, you know, who combos first, basically. And we kind of already did that by showcasing some of the other combo decks, and I wanted to kind of be more... I wanted it to be more interactive, that's why I chose this deck uh, against yours, because I felt like you had a lot of play against me. Pod decks generally uh, are decent against other creature decks, and my deck at the end of the day is still a creature deck, uh, although it is a control variant. Um, so I felt like it had the best play, and although it didn't showcase it um, all that well, uh, because I did 2-1 you there, uh, in that third game you really got to see kind of like what happens if I can't stop you, like if I just don't have the interactive pieces, or if you stop me, like with T, where you just kind of shut me down for the longest time. Yeah, so unfortunately, like... <laughs> unfortunately, like, uh, I did not expect you to be able to stop me that much. Uh, but no, with you being able to get that fire card back, Punishing Flame or whatever. Punishing Fire, yeah. Punishing Fire. We're getting that back multiple times, being able to shoot my board and keep it clean, that 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 hurt. And, and we see, both did the same thing to each other. That also hurt because I did the thing that took all your Punishing Fire, and then you took the thing that got rid of all my Punishing <laughs> Fakes. Yeah, we, we kind of uh, went back and forth with trying to shut down each other's strategies. Which is a good thing, you know, we were interacting. Um, yeah, Punishing Fire, like, the combo with the... Just being able to keep getting it back with Grover the Burn Willows is such a powerful effect. And, at least at the time, like, there's a lot of talk in current modern of a lot of players wondering whether or not we can, you know, go ahead and safely remove Punishing Fire from the ban list, because, spoiler alert, it does get banned. And it's because of this interaction here that it got banned like it just kind of shut down a lot of the creature strategies and made it near impossible for creature strategies to survive when your opponent can just keep buying back this two damage spell over and over again so that's why it ended up getting banned uh but in modern modern uh magic you can pretty easily unban it i think there's an argument for that at least um because a lot of the creature decks have already kind of died off to some of the other cards that have been printed uh, and those that exist are, are able to fight against those kind of strategies. So, I think it'd be safe now, but at least modern at the era in 2011, it was way too good, probably. And it, it even, like like you said, I honestly, when I picked the decks, I didn't think the matchup was going to be as kind of lopsided as it felt sometimes. Because I just thought, you know, if he combos me, there's really not much I can do. But where I had enough removal spells to just keep interacting with you, it allowed me to stave off to the point where I could try to take control so, yeah, overall, I think it was a, a good choice to showcase, but I, I do think that maybe it really should showcase the power of Punishing Fire and why it got banned very shortly thereafter. Um, any final thoughts on Pod? Um, because this, again, Pod is eventually another card that does get banned, but this is, like, one of the first iterations, um, well, the first one that was, like, really popular iterations of Pod at the time. It goes through many evolutions, but what would you think of it overall? I mean, Pod is pretty fun. It's mostly, it's a, uh, what is it called? One of those Tool bubble box. gum machines. You pay a quarter, you get a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> this is basically, that's basically what this deck is. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's a very uh, cookie cutter tool, toolbox strategy that just has an infinite combo ending. So it's, it, and that's what made it so powerful back in the day is it just was so good at being able to fight through the mid game, through any other creature decks, and then just kind of eventually try to take over. I'm, I'm happy with how the series is going so far. I'm uh, really excited to see what happens with the, the next one. Any closing thoughts from you? No. Alrighty. Well, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, always, of course, we'd appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe. And until uh, next time, have a good one.